Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki Vlog. Today we are at the LA Auto Show, and of course our first stop is the F-150 Lightning, but there's a lot more EVs to see. So let's go. Let's take a look at the vehicle. Let's look at the Fisker Ocean. We are excited to share with you the first glimpse of the seven concept. to my new car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in the just announced Taycan GTS Sport Turismo. Um, it's just like the Cross Turismo, except it's lower, has uh, less of the like black cladding and accents. Uh, this one is beautiful. It's a Porsche Red that is famous, but the interior, this is the first time I've sat in a Taycan and I love it. It's very, very luxurious, of course, um, and a very beautiful car. I don't know what Patrick did in the Taycan, but I am pretty excited to be sitting in here. I think it's the GTS Sport Turismo, and this feels amazing. It does have a big console, but I don't know. For this car, it might be worth it. <laughs> it's the price of a house, though. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, sitting really low to the ground, comfy, and yet can see everything. This is a... Uh, this is pretty amazing. It's pretty gorgeous. What a roof too. Wow. This is, <laughs> this is so exciting to be here right now and to get to see all these amazing cars. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Yay. Wow, good job, man. Great <laughs> <Great> driving. 
Hi! Oh my gosh, we're here at the auto show. It has been such a crazy morning, right? What time is it? Yeah, we've checked out a uh, Kia, Hyundai, um, of course. The Fisker Ocean. Fisker Ocean, and we the at Subaru. Subaru. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> it's been really bonkers, and there are so many amazing EVs here and so many exciting things. We just did a little test drive in the GT, which is going to come zooming right now. If you're ready. There Ooh. goes one. I do have to say the seats are pretty amazing. Yeah. They're pretty amazing. We're going to go check out more of yeah. the seats so that I can get a feel of that because I rode in the back seat of the GT. Yeah. Um, and they have an F-150 Lightning. Apparently, we got to get on a list to do that, which we didn't do. So I'm going to see if I can get on that list. Somehow. Here comes a... Yeah. I mean, it's so quiet, you never know they're coming. It's so cool. Yes. <laughs> so we're having a great time. Yeah. Um, we're going to check out a lot more vehicles. We're going to check out uh, the GT now um, and F-150 Lightning. And I have to show you guys uh, my favorite paint color so far. So far. So far. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So oh, and also Barbie is here. Go figure. Yeah, let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Kevin from the Denver Auto hey. Show. What's up? <laughs> Check hey. out my from GT Denver to stuff. LA. Yeah. That's That's not right. a bad gig. Huh? Different shirt. They gave me a nice new shirt for this one. Ooh. This is my like it is nice. <laughs> I, I kind of want so one. So now I'm branded. Uh, you're you're branded. Want, right? <laughs> yeah. well, we got a lot of money. Okay. It's not electric, but look at this paint job. Is this not the best thing ever? So far, this is my favorite of the whole thing. And look, the lights match. How cool is that? It's so cool. And it has a honeycomb texture. I'll do a close up and everything, but carbon fiber front. I, I think it's awesome. I think we should do our Maki this color. What do you think? Yes? Yes. Yes? Yes. That's the only option. Yes. This color is coming to the Mach-E for 2022. It's Forget like an color iced blue gray. Ice blue. Yeah, I think it's ice blue. Really? Yeah, I believe so. It's beautiful. So th this is replacing uh, infinite blue on the Mach-E. Oh, interesting. Much lighter. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> it doesn't look blue at all in the pictures, but I can I can see the blue. Oh, it totally looks blue in person, yeah. Yeah. Let's Although we have a big blue screen yeah, next to us. So. Yeah. <laughs> so this might actually just be silver, and I may be wrong. I don't know. It's beautiful and sparkly. So here is, you can lower this. You have a step. We have a ruler, centimeters, and inches. Uh, cup holders. Are they? Wow. I think there's one cup holder, or sort of. I'm not sure. I mean, it's just things that, like, if you have screws that appear. Yeah. Um, very useful. And then, of course, lots of power here. Wow. Your normal tie downs that you would normally have. Just very, very functional. Yeah, that's just fine. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> I do like this trigger handle. It's similar oh, to the Maki. Very similar. To most Ford. Do they do that? I really like it. It's a simple, yeah. easy way to open it. This is very nice. This is very nice, man. I gotta be honest. We got the big screen. Like the Maki, I know the cup holders are front and back, not side by side. This shifter is just cool. Isn't this cool looking? How does this work? Come on. All right, whatever. And then that, that is a charging pad, I believe, which is actually really cool. I wish I could demonstrate with the phone that I'm currently filming with, but I can't. So we went to that. Hi. <laughs> 
Oh, and a Bino sound system as well? Yeah, it's a Bino as well. What do you think of it, uh, it's random good. stranger? I love it. I'm a Polestar, so I'm an electric vehicle person. Oh, are you? I love the Polestar. My friends in Texas are real excited about this. Oh, that's awesome. This snowpocalypse in Texas. Oh, yeah. And this can actually be a generator for your house. Yep. Uh, when your power goes down. So I'm I'm a firm believer in, in having one of these in your garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. And how do you yeah. like your Polestar? I love it. It's so fast. It's so great. They're, they're coming out with a Polestar 3 yeah. uh, this year. The SUV, which is right? It's going to be the SUV. Yeah. And the Polestar 1 is amazing it's about 161,000. so there's yeah. not wow. many of those but the the polestar 2 is for everyone and the three we just yeah. did a video with uh, uh out of spec reviews hey. that was uh, out of polestar 2 yeah. versus id4 versus model y versus r mach e oh yeah um, but oh. a lot of the people picked the polestar 2. oh excellent. we of course yeah. picked the mach e <laughs> yeah, i haven't driven it yet i guess you came here to test drive it but it uh, yeah, are it's, you it's, coming it's back tomorrow? tomorrow yeah i'll check it out tomorrow. who are you with by the way uh, i'm actually with polestar are you really biased? Biased. Yeah, right. biased. <laughs> I'm okay. actually with Polestar Marketing, but I love all electric vehicles. I'm glad everybody's doing it. Well, you know? it totally. Just, I, mean, I, I really do love Polestar. Like I fell in love with the car really quick. I've driven uh, Teslas, and, and I'm not talking anybody down, but I, I love uh, Polestar. Okay. okay. The auto show is literally finishing. Patrick and I are talking to a new friend who's with Polestar, and I'm by the e transit all electric e-transit and I just want to step inside here because like I just don't want to park that in LA <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just want to see what it feels like getting in here like I'm delivering packages now yeah <laughs> I like it you might make more money that way I probably would <laughs> oh this looks really nice inside wow it's only like 126 miles which um, okay I'm 5-5 five, five. Uh, and I am the uh, Walking around with tons of room in here. I just never been in one. This is very interesting. Can you see how much room there is? This is spacious. Oh my gosh. They have a house. Honey house? Hmm? Welcome to Automobility at Los Angeles and Los Angeles Auto Show's very first ever Zebras Awards. My name is Alex Guberman. I am the host of E4 Electric News Channel, and I am so excited to be here. This event is powered to electrify America. The Zebras are the official electric vehicle awards of the Los Angeles Auto Show's, the nation's top showcase of zero emissions vehicles. And now the time has come for us to honor our winners for the 2021 Zebras. In the compact category, the Hyundai Kona Electric. In the coupe category, Alpha Motor Ace Coupe. In the crossover category, $50,000 and below, Fisker Ocean. In the crossover category, $50,000 and above, Tesla Model Y. In the hatchback van wagon category, the canoe lifestyle vehicle. In the sedan category, $60,000 and below, Tesla Model 3. In the sedan category, $60,000 and above, the Lucid Air. In the truck category, the Rivian R1T. All right, let's give some love to all of our 2021 Zero Award winners. Well deserved. Good morning. We are on our way to day two of the LA Auto Show. We're just walking by Toyota right there. The car is everywhere. It's very exciting. Are you excited? Yes. More cars, <laughs> more fun. More cars, more fun. Uh, we didn't vlog too much yesterday because we were quite overwhelmed. This is pretty crazy, but we'll see how today goes. Yeah. All right, now we are outside the LA Auto Show. It basically starts all the way over there and goes, you can see that one that's sort of in the fog, yeah, right there. <laughs> so uh, it's quite expansive. There's two big halls and then in between, there's uh, some cars, some, uh, I think it's Galpin, 
uh, I believe. I'll have to look that up. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go in now and check it all out. Yeah, let's go. And now we're at the Hyundai booth. We are in front of the 7, which is a concept car that they announced yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty awesome to be here for that. Like you said, it was a concept car, so it's not something that's in production or going to go in production as is necessarily. So there's some features about it that are kind of crazy, I think. Yeah, what they use concept cars for are to sort of test out different things. Um, some of it wouldn't even be street legal in today's world. And of course, like the, the front, it's not like a, somebody thought it was like a chicken cage or made fun that it was like a chicken cage in front, but that's like full LED and can do like uh, different patterns and whatnot in front. And in the interior, it's almost like a lounge or living room. Yeah, like Patrick said, this actually does animate, and we got a pretty cool preview of that during the release, the debut. It did some really interesting animations. I don't know how useful they would be, but I found it pretty entertaining. Yeah, I think it's, you know, for something like this, it's just meant to be entertaining. Um, again, I don't think that would be street legal. And same thing with the interior. The interior, um, and, and, you know, it's not like crash worthy or anything. You can see that the, the walls are sort of thin or whatnot. But anyways, fun, fun to look at. And need to see, like, you know, who knows, maybe 10 or 15 years down the road, something like this would be um, available. Yeah, and it's got some really interesting design concepts inside. It almost looks like, is it the Herman Miller chair? Yeah. That kind of cup seating that's more about comfort and less about actual drivability. But then again, I think it's being presented as a fully autonomous vehicle, which is something that you can do if it's just sort of anything that you can dream of. So. But I, I think, know. and there's a yoke steering wheel, which bugs oh, I didn't me. Even notice. Yeah. We'll go look inside. What's with the yokes? I, I just don't get it. It's it just whatever. I guess if we're autonomous, yes, but until then, we just want a steering wheel, or I yeah, do. I do too. <laughs> what? Go ahead and break it, why don't you? Back away slowly, back away from Bionic. <laughs> we'll just pretend that was like that stay see we're oh in the goodness. porsche hall so we're going to check out the porsches we're not going to check out all of them just the ev ones which yeah that's cool enough let's go Ooh. oh my goodness don't get out uh, we're just getting in our porsche yeah and i was saying i think the fast charging is on the left side is actually on the right side so that would be oh, opposite okay from the Maki, but uh, yeah. He's getting out, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I really love this cabbage, no, of course. You want the door closed? Uh, sure. Someone's taking photos, so I guess I'll be in the photo. Um, I don't love being this low typically because I like an SUV body style because of um, my leg difficulties. Like it's easier to get in and out of an SUV body style, but this feels so luxe and so comfortable. Uh, I mean, I guess that's a given, but it's pretty gorgeous. Uh, so I think I found my Porsche and it is an e-bike. <laughs> that's what we can afford. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't actually know how much they are though. So maybe not. I think I we're close to 10. If I'm, I don't know. Who still, knows? still better. But wouldn't that be fun to be like, I have a Porsche bike. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. I would love to. Uh, drive any of the ones that we took a look at today who knows maybe one of these days if we get like ten thousand subscribers yeah. a day a day yeah <laughs> one million subscribers yes one million views there's a one song about views. that yeah one of my favorites <laughs> all right hi i'm patrick anderson and this is the maki vlog today we are sitting here with shelby from evgo and we're going to talk about charging with evgo now we are in a rush we were just at evgo chatting with shelby i think she's the director of marketing sales marketing. sales super awesome to get sort of an inside talk you had a good time right yeah it was, it was very very nice to talk to somebody um about our ev stuff EV yeah charging. Yeah, and that they're moving in a more powerful direction. Get more of those 350s out there. Yeah. So now we're on our way to... Electrify uh, America. Electrify America. <laughs> Very exciting. So many cool things. You're taking a road trip and you can see the, the green glow from the stations. 
yeah. it's sort of like, yay, we made it. So right. uh, I really like that. And that's a big one, right? And making sure that it's tall and recognizable. So yeah. Because sometimes you're in a parking lot. Where is this, right? Yeah, exactly. And, it, and it's that, that green glow that draws you to it, right? And it stands out. We were in a this is the North American debut of the GMW Task Pit. And I've got the two co-founders of Realty Electric here with me today. So these humble vehicles, I mean, they have delivered more than 12 million packages and done more than 20 million emission-free miles all over the world. Okay, hi, this is Rahul with Ability Electric. Hello. Right? Hello. Um, I'm Liv, very nice hi, to Liv. meet you. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us. So aren't you guys really, really new? Right? Uh, yeah, so Bilti Electric uh, has, has been formed recently in, in, the, in the US. Uh, it was in April that we formed the company. Uh, we already have uh, uh, presence in 15 countries. We've sold these vehicles over the past three, three and a half years now. And you are partnered with Amazon as well in multiple countries. Right? Yeah, so these vehicles uh, do deliveries uh, for uh, 3PL providers uh, of Amazon. That's amazing. And do you have a partnership with Amazon in the US? Uh, no, uh, not yet. So we will be, over the next few months, we'll oh, be doing pilots uh, in densely populated urban centers of the US. How do you feel the reception's going to be in the American market? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah, so these vehicles are very humble vehicles. They don't. They look like they're not going to do much, uh, but they have <laughs> they pack a ton, <laughs> ton of features. These carry about 300 pounds of weight. They have, uh, depending on the cargo box size, about up to 96 uh, cubic feet of volume. Wow! And all of the, that is useful volume because the box shape. Uh, and with the solar option, uh, you could potentially uh, not have to plug in at all if you, if you do not go more than 30, 40 miles in a day. Uh, and on ideal days, you could charge the full battery. That's fantastic. I mean, I think you've thought of everything that the impact of how your product's going to be used and as well how it can expand. I can't wait to see what happens in this country as you guys yeah. sort of. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, make your yeah. Thanks for taking the time to talk yeah. with us. Thank you so much. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's an amputee dog. Oh, this is Subaru. And yeah, they found the way to my heart. <laughs> Look, we got to go say hi. Oh my goodness. We just got a couple iced coffees. We've had a fantastic time. And we wanted to come by the Subaru setup. Man, they went all out, not just in the decor, but doggies too. They have a fireplace, come on. Oh, that is just, oh look, and it's like the forest. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, we'll take both of you. We'll take both of you. I know. Oh, you want a buzz crash? Look, we match. <laughs> These guys did not skim at all. Look at that. It's snowing. <laughs> so all of us in Colorado can really envision this vehicle in our natural habitat. The ground just changed. That's bonkers. I'm in a waterfall. Delightful. I love it. So we came to check out the Nissan Aria, but we can't get in it. It is just pre-production. So here I am inside a Leaf. I'm trying it again. I really want this to be okay, even with the console, but I don't know. What do you think? Kind of invasive, huh? It is, yeah. It's not exact. It's weird because it's not super wide, but it flares out at the top. At the exact wrong spot. I really want to love it though. These are excellent. Uh, they have great leasing deals, so.
We're here for our final day at the LA Auto Show. We just checked out Solo by Electra and Mechanica. And now we're checking out this e-roadster. I just, I can't believe this is real. It's, it's real. It's all electric. It's super modern and yet a beautiful classic. It's gorgeous. I, I could drive this out the showroom right now. I mean, look at this thing. Woo. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm in Patrick's shot, so <laughs> bye. What can you tell us about these really interesting vehicles? So the cars are designed for urban commuting, right? So we're not, we're, we're saying if most of the time you're in a car, you're, you're in the car by yourself, about 80, 85% of the time, right? Okay. But the car has a hundred mile range, uh, top speed of 80 miles per hour. Um, it's 100% uh, yeah, electric. Um, the name of the car is called the Solo and they're really fun to drive. Well, okay. thank you so much for taking the time Oh, sure, no problem. So we've gotten to be here at the LA Auto Show as press for a couple of days, and then they're doing EV rides today. For only. the public. For the public. So we wanted to come for this. We're just hanging out, waiting to see what we get to ride. They actually have some news crews here, so not sure if we're gonna get on anything yet. But... Yeah, it's, it's technically not open yet uh, because they have the news crews coming in and they're gonna be doing live shots. So we sort of have to work in between that. But we were so excited. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> straight down this is here. our priority for today. It's like, we just yeah. wanted to see. And they have a good selection of vehicles. So they have Kia, Hyundai, uh, Mini. Whole bunch of Minis. Porsche. Uh, so, if I remember right, the Mini is actually kind of pricey, right? Uh, it's pricey for the range and stuff like that, but it's just such a unique yeah. uh, EV car. I think they sort of get it based off of that premium. Um, I it's haven't looked so into the details of them uh, that much because when we were looking for the Mach-E, we wanted something with you know 250 plus miles of range. This does not have that, but it would be a great second EV for exactly. us. Exactly. I think I did like the build your own one at one point uh, with the, like, they have a far screen, I think, and a white top roof. And it was really, really cute, but really expensive, I think. I'm going to go do it again. For the range. Like we, it's, yeah. yeah, now, and it's hard to break out of that mentality of, I need my 250 miles of range, as well as yeah. the fact that like, we obviously can't store uh, a trike, which oh, is our, yeah. our priority for the first go round. But look at that. Oh, perfect. Look how quiet and normal they're going to park right here. I just love that they can have an indoor test track of EVs and they're dead quiet. We should move. And no smell. Them. No smell either. Yeah, like, ooh, look at the steering wheel. You can see us. Like, you can see you. It's hard to show. Can you see that? Go stand behind the car. Oh, that's so cute. It's not the steering wheel. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's really cute. Someone referred to it, I can't remember, as like a submarine lens or something one time. Uh, yeah. That's really, really cute. Let's watch them park here. Um, I mean, these are, of course, professional drivers Sque squeezing into a little spot. It's, it's hard to parallel park on a, on a curb. Water. Yeah, on a little racetrack. I mean, aesthetically, this is kind of the most adorable thing. Look at his little eyes. Uh, so we're getting a little uh, quick test drive that we're going to get taken on and look at this little mini and it's a gradient roof Liv's talking about the gradient roof huh? I was like you're talking about the gradient roof and I'm filming the gradient roof that is a nice touch I mean that's pretty adorable right that's pretty adorable here we have it in red with the white top so white yeah that's really good nice too gray with white. I actually do like the white top to be honest. It's like a little coating of snow, which I'm not a fan of. Snow at least, but well, fake snow, that'd be fine. And then of course, we have this beautiful Porsche. <laughs> That's Patrick's dream car right there. Now get back there. <laughs> Good thing I'm 5'6". <laughs> Thank you, sir. So we're oh going to do God. a quick ride along in the Mini and Carlos is going to give us the drive. I'm kind of sold. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, this is the most adorable thing. And uh, for so many EVs that move away from having a dash screen, this one has a very notable dash screen, which is actually even pushed outwards. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> this is your type of car. It's so my type of car. 
Carlos, what do you call this thing? Well, that goes back to our racing roots. So in the past, you would have the odometer, the speedometer there. That's how we have all those toggles and switches because you had a navigator that would oh. help you while you were driving. So we kept the spirit of racing history here in the center. Oh, I love it. I'll be your navigator. What's, what's the range on this? Up to 114 miles. It's the perfect city car. Perfect yeah, city car. Really. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Our, our first one, our first EV, we needed 250 plus miles, but their second EV, 100 is good. Yeah, yeah, because we've done a cross country road trip in Amaki from Denver to LA, and that was great. But now to replace my vehicle, we don't need something that's that long range, and we feel exactly. very comfortable. And this is easy to park. <laughs> and the mirrors will fold in as well, so you don't have any messengers hitting your Ooh, mirrors. Yeah, this is so perfect for the city. Mm -hmm. And it has regenerative braking. And then when I become president of the world, I'm going to call it as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator regeneration, because that's actually when it starts. And for those people that find that it's a little too aggressive or need a little bit more time to get adjusted, we have this button right here that'll tone down that uh, regenerative. So oh, I'll shut it off. So this is the way it feels when I take my foot off. Oh. Now I'm going to turn it on after this uh, curve and we're on the straightaway and then I'll release the accelerator again so you can feel the difference. So now when I take my foot off the accelerator, because I can't call it the gas pedal, you see it's oh not my God. smooth, very smooth. <laughs> but I prefer crazy. to get every little bit of juice which I can out of the battery. I, I, oh my gosh. Also, just the fact that that just feels like a little command center, like you're just <laughs> controlling the vehicle like that. That is so cute. And of course, you can handle all the interior lighting from here. So oh. I have mine always set on blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, is that lime green now? Yep. <laughs> I would pick that. Oh my gosh. Well, then good. I'm glad I stopped there. So cool. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, this is this is my car, Patrick. Cause look, my leg has room. <laughs> and it's um, it's second only to the Nissan Leaf as far as price goes. And this is obviously a lot more premium. It starts at twenty nine. Fantastic. And you'd be surprised. The Leaf actually has quite a large console, so it's not an option for me. So this, did you say it starts at twenty nine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Nice. Oh my god. You see it here. It's about thirty four. The highest I've seen is thirty eight five. Wow, uh, well, okay. fully loaded with the head-up display, the sunroof, the leather seats, the whole thing. There might be a little color customizing that I'll have to do mm -hmm. that'll knock it up there. Oh Very my cool. gosh, this is awesome. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. I'll my take pleasure. it. <laughs> right up, Sam. <laughs> we just got to do our drive along with the little mini electric. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. I liked it so much that we've been walking around actually since then for like 15 minutes and I'm still thinking about it. It's really fun to be here and see uh, non-media people like enjoying vehicles out and about. So great that we made it through a pandemic and get to have this again. Yeah, very, very cool to see the public here and people yeah. that are actually enjoying the cars because they're pretty and shiny and look cool yeah. and not all media, although I guess we're media now, yeah. but, but media is like, you know, I need, I need answers and I need uh, stats and details. It's fun to see people like bash around with the car and test out the trunk space and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Like everyone's grabbing them and pretending that they're putting stuff in them. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, but we're doing a little walkthrough. We're going to check out every single EV that's on the offer and just have a really nice time strolling through while we do it. Yep. Yeah, let's do more. You know, you dye your hair green one time and then you want every green car. <laughs> what color do I get with this? Oh, the geez. Aria. Uh, you could get the Aria, but also, did you see the Porsche that was going around the track was in coffee, wasn't it? Oh, I didn't see the coffee. I think one. it was oh, coffee. I, love, I wanted to see the coffee in person. We'll I go have back video. And check that out. Okay, yeah. I got some video of it because it looked pretty gorgeous, to be honest. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Lots of random car stuff all around here as you're walking through to the next atrium. And this is the Art Center College of Design, and their concept car in collaboration with Lincoln. I think this is something that they do often, right? Yeah, and this, I think they work with Lincoln. Yeah or this one to sort of come up with a concept and this is what they imagine it'll look like in 2040. Ooh, we can only hope. <laughs> Patrick says he just wants to sit in here. I think he's shopping for a Cyber Orange GT, to be honest. Are you customizing it? Oh, 
That's sneaky. Very cute. <laughs> Maki vlog was here. Um, the seats are firm, but they're they're very comfortable. That's right. You didn't sit in the front, did you? No. It's really, really comfortable, isn't it? I didn't notice that. Uh, it's a right yeah. That's actually really interesting. And it matches the, the center part of the seats. Huh. A little bit. Yeah, right there. I don't love it on the seats because you can see you're swiping. Yeah. Uh, but it looks really pretty here. Then again, you can see the swiping there. So, meh. But it does look plush. Plush and luxurious. Nice. I do like the cyber art. As per usual, Patrick is sharing about the Maki. <laughs> I love it. Well, we spent a good chunk of time here in the Ford booth, so we Honestly. are on. Yeah. <laughs> I know we dressed to match and everything. And now we're on our way out to the atrium, and we're gonna go check on Porsche. This is a really good buzz, right? This is busy. And it's uh, Friday morning. <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy week here, I'm sure, for everyone working. I love this. I love that. Imagine that in blue, like oceanic, right? Oh, yeah, like a light blue. Yeah, blue stripes. Oh, That'd be gorgeous. We're back in the Porsche lounge. It's hard to stay away from here. It's really beautiful. Huh? Yeah, they've done a really good job. And of course, they have so many beautiful cars to take a look at in here, uh, non EV as well as EV. Yeah. So we're going to go take a look. I often get inspired by things in the displays. And that piece of art right there is really gorgeous. And I feel like we need that with a Maki driving off into the sunset. So I think I'm going to do a shirt sort of inspired by that. I really love this uh, sort of yellow, kind of buttery color, huh? Yeah, very, very good. It's really pretty. Classic Porsche. Yeah. They have a nice little store here. So if you want to go home with a Porsche uh, sweatshirt instead of a car case. or phone case. Oh, here's the bike. We got to see those up close yesterday. Uh, is this the mountain? Oh, no, this is the road bike version. Yeah. I think they're what, 10,000? That was my guess. I'm not sure. I oh. Uh, e bike, cross sport. That's cool. Oh, and there's one on the other side. We could go look at that. Let's look quickly, actually. This was not here yesterday. This is actually a coffee shop, so it's kind of weird. Um, that's really pretty. And there's their more mountain bike style. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> I don't know, Porsche teddy bear. I could do that. <laughs> a little mini. Um, we bumped into a guy that makes Hot Wheels uh, <laughs> a couple days ago, and he said that there's a Maki Hot Wheels, which we didn't realize. So, whoops, we need to get one, like right now. And then we'll get a little mini Porsche too. <laughs> what did you find out? How much is it? That one is 10,000. Or, yeah, the sport is ten thousand. The e-bike cross is eight thousand five hundred. Woo! We could have a Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with a Maki, to be honest. My first brand new car uh, was fourteen thousand. Wow! Wow! So that bike is close to your first car ever. <laughs> All right, onwards. And now we are outside. This is like an extension of the Ford booth. The 289 engine is the same one that my mom's 65 Mustang had. Oh, I love it. No, you can ride. Yeah, that's probably the same red. Correct. Yes. Ragu? Yum. Ragu red. I was young. I don't remember the details. Can you tell what color our car is? I'm going to go with glossy blue. That's how you would actually lock in the all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. It's not all-wheel drive, I guess. The four-wheel drive on the old Broncos, and it's very common back in the day. That's how you would change from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive mode. Got on the wheel? Basically locked the wheel. That's crazy. And then uh, what our friend Jason was pointing out, like little aficionado detail here, that little line to the top yeah. right, that means it's a 66, right? Early 66. It's an early 66. Early 66. Yeah. Man. 
So this is like becoming a whole family affair. We met Kevin again, who we saw at the LA Auto Show in 2019, and then over here. And now we have Joe, who Good we saw the Mach again. E yeah. Tour. We saw him like five times during the Mach E Tour when it came to Colorado. So it's like Ford's like a family. We yeah. Are like, <laughs> the Mach E family. Yes. Yeah. It's so awesome, awesome to see you awesome. again. Nice to see you again. Good to yeah. see you. I know. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Shelby Hall. Oh my gosh, hey. that's his mom's name. My mom's name's Shelby, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And we just pivot. Wow. We are almost okay. done with the LA Auto Show, but we did want to check out the Hall of Customs. Uh, we know that there's an ID4 in there, so. Or at least I've seen it from here. Yeah. It looks like a Maverick, maybe? I don't know. The Galpin Hall of here Customs. Let's go. Yeah. That's it. We're That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that this is two years later after we came here as consumers, put our reservation down for Mach E, and we got to come back and document this experience now. It's been a lot of fun. It's been basically two and a half days that we spent here at LA Automobility and the LA Auto Show. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of great stuff. Even more excited that maybe next year there'll be even more EVs, including from you know GM and Toyota, yeah. and whatever. So, anyways, uh, keep on watching. We're gonna have a lot of individual videos out for all the EVs that we saw. Um, not all of them, but many of them. Yeah. And let us know if there's something you're particularly interested in, like the mini electric. Should I get a mini electric? I should. Just say it down below. Yes. I should. I should. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Hopefully, thank you for subscribing. And uh, we'll, we'll keep making videos the more subscribers we get. Yeah. Either way, we're having a great time with this. We hope you are too. And just remember that whatever you drive, enjoy the ride. Bye. Bye.